Okay, I wanted to share another way of um, making beautiful paper. It's called book, uh, book boiling. And it's basically when you're pressing, it's like pressing your flowers in between your books um, and, and then you tighten it all down or tie it all off. And then you pop it into uh, a, a big, huge pot of hot boiling water and you boil it away for about an hour and then you leave it overnight. Well, I leave it overnight to cool down and then I unveil it the next day. Um, it's basically putting um, natural um, leaves or anything from your garden, whether it be flowers. It just depends. You, it's trial and error of what you use. Um, and, you know, it creates a beautiful effect. Now, um, hence why my fingernails are absolutely uh, atrocious and my hands at the moment from dying. Anyhow, um, this here I've, I've, I've actually added um, olive, olive leaves in and I layered them upon layered uh, and, and sort of wedged them between two blocks and then tied them off and sort of threw them in the pot while it was boiling. And it's created this really cool effect, you know, from going from a sage green olive leaf, it leaves a beautiful yellow imprint um, on this um, craft, craft paper here. Now, this one here, I actually um, used um, mint leaves um, and pressed press them down in between layers of paper and then I've actually wound and then I wound it up inside you know like a stick and, and then you tie it off really really tight and then you just pop that inside the pot and let and do the same procedure you know boil for an hour let it cool following day unveil and honestly it looks like the leaves are actually in between this actual page it's almost like a photo effect um, truly beautiful you know um, I guess that you could iron it later um, to get more creases out but you know I, I just love that organic feel about it I love how it's actually created the print of the leaves um, it's a very organic um, way of doing doing your pages you know like in between here I, I actually put in um, some other leaves which didn't sort of turn out too well um, it just it gave the coloring but it didn't actually um, make any kind of print like the mint leaves did um, so that that's one way of with the with the mint leaves um, another way I tried was uh, with the same with the same I mean this was all wound up in the in the one um, big bunch of papers uh, this was a more of those um, olive leaves and it, it look that's on an old vintage an old vintage um, ledger paper um, and, you know on this side it's just got the indentations of the leaves whereas the opposite you know you get the actual true yellow uh, from the leaves the dying out of the leaves and inside you know um, this here was ra raspberry leaves and, you know that came out quite cool as well you know so you it's endless possibilities with with dying with nature and it just looks fantastic especially if you want to make it a, a real organic style journal this will add gorgeous effect to your pages now with this one it was uh, I just tea dyed it um, and with that I just put the leaves that were in um, after the paper was dry I popped some um, fresh leaves on and and then put some tracing paper over the top and then I ironed it um, you only get a very faint outline of the leaves where they were I mean the stems turned out um, but I think it's very very soft but you know it's not um, it's not something like when you actually boil the book so that's pretty cool now moving along um, this one here is actually done by I dipped the and into tea and then I went and put it out on this rusted bucket box that I've got out outside and left it left it for the day and you know it created this really cool effect now that's actually on the vintage um, paper um, 
and I actually did it on on photocopy paper as well um, as you can see it didn't come out as as much as the vintage paper although it gave a beautiful grungy grungy look about it so I mean that's I think that's a, a keep of, of dying um, with the rust um, to give it that real old worldly feel so that's a pretty cool one now these two are actually dyed in uh, coffee first um, and then of course I threw the mica over the top uh, first of all I just let it tilt up after I dyed it I let it tilt up the side of the sink let most of the water run away and then I just used like a flicking motion like this inside the mica quite messy um, and just flicked it on and you know left it sit there while I was doing some other things and you know it bled and I love that effect it looks really cool you know it this one doesn't actually go right through the other side um, but this one um, actually did or it could have been possibly that I had over sitting it overlapped on another piece of paper but that's pretty cool as well you know and the coffee I used for this one um, was the Italian coffee so I'm not sure if you can see that it's a bit hard to see with the flaring of the, the camera um, the next one I used was beetroot now this was a little bit darker as it dries it fades out to a very very pastel pastely type pink it's hard to sort of I don't have a blank white piece of paper here um, for you to be able to see that properly but the darker pinks are from the flesh of the beetroot um, totally created a beautiful effect and I really like it although it makes the paper quite soft um, even though that I left it out to dry out in the harsh sun the paper almost still feels about it feels almost like it's damp and that was done two weeks ago so you know I mean that's a really cool effect too using beetroot um, here I dyed it with coffee um, and then of course uh, before I dyed it with coffee I actually um, copied my or printed off rather my design onto the paper first then I made it uh, dipped it immediately as soon as I printed it I dipped it immediately and I just love that bleeding effect it's almost like it's gone to a watercolor um, it's really beautiful very shabby chic looking and I just totally love that that look about it it's really beautiful you should give it a go now this one is still coffee dyed getting coffee granules everywhere here um, coffee dyed however I waited to the following day before dyeing it because I wanted to see if it was actually going to run um, and sure enough it didn't it stayed true to the print um, but you know it still gives that old worldly feel I love it it's it's really beautiful now this one I slightly crumbled it up um, this one I think I did about three four weeks ago I slightly crumbled it up uh, popped it in a dye bath of um, Cali green um, made by Rit and I really love the, the the look of this one it's almost like it's um, I don't know I guess it like leather or a leather look or a um, marbling type effect it just really really came out truly beautiful I love it um, I love the color of the green um, it's absolutely gorgeous so using rip dyes um, work and they come out really beautiful depending on the the strength of your mixture um, it um, it's totally up to you um, endless possibilities really um, now these ones were all on layering layering coffee dyeing layering paper on top of paper um, I, I know a lot of you are already doing that already uh, I just thought I'd just sort of pop that in there if nobody else had actually sort of done that before um, it's it's quite cool I like it and I like the fact that if you throw string in between it actually gives like really swirly sort of looks in in in, um, in the actual dye itself and 
and this one here you know of course with the heavy layering of doilies over the top um, which a lot of you ladies are already doing already that is actually from the bottom of the pan when there was about 20 pieces of paper sitting on the top um, so it kind of gives it almost like a burnt effect but yeah so that's all for the moment on my dyeing I'm still trying out different um, uh, different other ways of dyeing so when I get those uh, ready and available I will do another video so that you're able to see so um, thank you very much for watching I hope you're inspired uh, and to design your own um, dyeing pages um, and trying different uh, different ways of dyeing and I would love to to see what you've created um, with either tagging me or you know inbox message messaging me and you know and I hope that uh, you have a lot of fun giving it a go um, thanks for watching give it a thumbs up and uh, comment and subscribe hit that little bell button to the side so that you get notification of my next video and thank you for watching bye